Well, very soon we'll have the big group one, the Sheikh Zayed, with £40,000 in prize money. But I've got to have a chat with His Excellency the Ambassador, who only arrived here a few... How are you enjoying London, the United Kingdom? Well, so far so good. I've been to a lot of horse, horse racing, enjoying it, and fabulous to come to Arabian horse racing um, that's so close to our culture and history. And uh, we just watched a, a, a magnificent race of young pon pony racing, uh, young jockeys, and one of them has just qualified to go through to Abu Dhabi. So it was yeah, really exciting. We've now got a group one. And uh, you know your racing because your wife, Victoria, yes. is related to, tell us more. So uh, my, my wife, Victoria, is from the Devon family. Yeah. Yes, and uh, um, her younger brother, Henry Francois Devon, yeah. trains in Chanty, yeah. and her parents are fifth generation breeders in wow. France, so they are, they've been, I, I have that connection with racing, it fortunately, so I've got uh, You know your way around a race course. Yes, very <laughs> much. I have a bit of experience in that department, yeah. Uh, it's <laughs> great to be on the race course. Uh, it feels like home. <laughs> uh, it does feel like home. And Lara Sawaya, you inaugurated this series. It is incredible. Yes, uh, it's a nice city, and we're so glad to have a young lady uh, going to Abu Dhabi. And tomorrow, Mama Fatma's race is for ladies, so it's very nice to see girls uh, in the fields. What do you think of Royal Windsor Racecourse? Windsor is a very nice racetrack. It's our first time as United Arab Emirates and Abu Dhabi in this uh, racetrack. It's a beautiful uh, atmosphere, it's a family atmosphere, and this is what we look for, is to have a good crowd, a good uh, ambiance, a family oriented, and especially because uh, we have two days of racing, it's a weekend of racing, and uh, we're so glad to be here. Do you want me to tell you a true story? This is a true story. We're standing here, years and years ago, a certain Winston Churchill was standing here, the former Prime Minister yes. of Great Britain, and the Germans dropped a bomb and the bomb landed on the far side of the parade ring. And thankfully, it didn't go off. Otherwise, it might have had dire consequences. It's a true story. You're standing in the same spot where Sir Winston Churchill, the former prime minister, used to stand. Okay, great, but I wish there was no bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. Okay, stand by for the big group one. Well, with me now is a guest of ours who's come all the way from the UAE, from Abu Dhabi, Samira Matouk. She runs the best coffee shops in the Middle East. Yes. Yes, you do. Thank you. I'm just coming here, first time in Windsor. It's very nice yes. to really, uh, you know, support United Arab Emirates, my country. Yes. And, uh, you know, I'm supporting Lara Sawaya. She's one of the best. She's passionate, especially you, Tom. Yes. We're so proud. Having all the team, it's always about great team. Yes. You are all a great team, really. How is the coffee going down in the Middle East? Um, hopefully now... Um, it's our aim to be the leader in the beverage, in yes. the coffee, in the worldwide. Inshallah, starting from United Arab Emirates to the world. And I've got to mention something. If we pan down, she's wearing these new style jeans that are, are back in fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's concentrate on the horses. <laughs> well, a man hoping to win this group one has come all the way from Sweden. He's Henrik Emblom. And you've got a horse called McAllen. That's right. He's a... Uh we used to travel and see the world, so it's fun to be here. It's great. You've come a long way. How does it? How long does it take to get to drive a horse box all the way from Sweden? Well, it takes a, a few hours if I. It'd be correct. what two days? Yeah, nearly two days. Yeah. Tell us about you. You're a trainer now and a very successful trainer. But what did you used to do? I started off as an amateur and I, I did an international fedient race for nearly five years. So I was very good at learning and. I, met a lot of people and got good contacts. And you were the former European champion amateur, then you became the very successful uh, professional jockey in Scandinavia. So the question is, is your horse going to win? Hopefully. It's a step up in trip. It's the maximum we do, but uh, it's getting older, stronger. So I think we're here to be in the tree, I would say. And what would you say to the Sheikh Mansour Festival? It's a great festival, isn't it? Promoting Arabian racing. Absolutely. If you've got good horses, you have to travel and it's so fun to go and see the different countries and the different race courses and to be able to take part of this. So it's a great opportunity and we're all grateful for, for, the, for the whole series. Good luck here. Thank you very much indeed.
Voice over going ahead in five. So the jockeys are now in the parade ring. The eight jockeys for the Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayan Cup. And we've got great jockeys here. Look at the end, Ty Gaucher, champion jockey that he Richard King's coat. Ah, oh, this is Sean Levy, winner of the 1,000 guineas. We've got JB Equim from France riding in this. And uh, Gerard Mosse at the, at the end. Goodness me, incredible. And Derby winning jockey Martin Dwyer. This is the lineup for the Sheikh Zayed Trophy. It's next. Stay with us. So the jockey's now getting mounted for the Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayan Cup. And he is one of the big players. This is number six, Mithaf Athbar. Actually won this race two years ago. Was a good fourth at Newbury last time out. And is ridden by the former multiple champion jockey of France and Hong Kong. And that is the great Gerard Mosse. He's the first one to go down. Just getting the leg up on the lovely grey is Jean-Bernard Ekim. He's come from France. He rides number two, Hadras, here for Jean, Madame Jean-Francois Bernard, a Group 3 winner in France. Could be a big play today. And that man on board has the best strike rate of any jockey in France this year. It's number two, Hadras. Next one to come out onto the track is number seven. Is uh, Let's just check this one. It is number three. This is Sean Levy on board, KO Cat MHF, a Group 2 winner. Sean Levy, winner of last year's 1,000 guineas. Here's the champion jockey of the UAE, Ty Gaucher. He rides the five horse, Medaf Athbar. That's won four races last year in the United Kingdom, Belgium, and Saudi Arabia. Got to be a big player. Next one to come out from the parade ring will be number eight, Tijjari. This is Martin Dwyer on board, former Derby winning jockey. Rides for James Owen and the James Owen Racing Club on this one. This has won two of his last three starts. Bit disappointing at Newbury on Dubai Day, but number eight, Tijjari. Behind that in the red braces is McCallan. This could be a big player. So there he goes. Change of jockey, Richard Kingscote is on board the four horse two more to go down here is number nine this is zayen angmore centurion ridden by hector crouch and the last one to go down the very stylish daniel muscat and he partners number seven stormtrooper eight runners over a mile his highness the sheikh zayed bin sultan al nayan cup this is the his highness sheikh zayed bin sultan al nayan cup group one contest over a mile all in, they're off. Racing away, and one of them hasn't come out of the stalls by the, uh, the looks of it. As they went through the uh, early stages, Tajari it is, who hasn't come out of the starting stalls. Through the early stages, or has come out of the stalls now eventually, but is about a half furlong behind. Through the first of the eight furlongs, the two stable companions taking them along. Stormtrooper on the inside of K.O. Cat in the headgear with Zayn and Corson cheering the black jacket on the outside. Mifath Athbar in the black cap just preceding Zayn and Corson Sheeran as they head around the loop. McCallan is next in the field in the blue cap, followed by the French raider Hydrez. Tracking him through is Medaf Athbar in the blue headgear. Tajari has now caught up, but they haven't gone very quickly. And that's the reason why, as they race around the turn back towards the home straight and approach halfway. So it's Stormtrooper and Daniel Muscat out in front, the horse who... Broke his maiden tag here a couple of seasons ago. Leads them towards halfway with K.O. Cathy's stable companion on his outside. Mifath Athbar on the inside in third. Out wide of him, McCallan. Wider still, Zayn Ankor Centurion, who's tracked by Hajrez. And then Medaf Athbar and Tajari now being pushed along. Heading across the intersection to the final three furlongs and the sprint now begins. And here comes McCallan, one from the right to deliver a strong looking challenge. With on the near side running Grail Stormtrooper between that pairing, Mifath Athbar. Hydress towards the outside is coming into it as well. Medath Athbar, blue headgear on the inside, needs a gap as they come down to the final two furlongs. It's Mifath Athbar on the near side of McCallan with back in third place Stormtrooper. Now out in the clear, Medath Athbar every chance. Switching to the outside, Hydress is also running on. They come down to the final furlong, furthest to the right. Here comes Hydress. McCallan, one from the right with the blue headgear. Medath Athbar boxing on. Mifath Athbar to the near side. Inside the final half furlong, Hydress on the far 
far side is quicker, not the best in a slowly run race. And it's Hadrez out in front with on the near side, Medoth Athbar closing all the way to the line. But Hadrez has done enough. Hadrez wins the Italian Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nain Cup and a punch of the air from the rider as he passes the post. Beats Medoth Athbar into second, McAllen in third, and Mithath Athbar fourth.